Greetings exiles, and I continue my journey. Let's see what interesting things I have found in the past days. Cool boots. I could use it. I love these divine orbs. And more. This is interesting. Just what I need. I also had an incident. I was checking my ships and atlas runners in the morning and got about 20 stacked decks. I didn't even turn on the record because I didn't think there would be anything interesting. But the game decided to surprise me. The Apothecary. Very juicy bait. Let's test my luck. No way. Never mind. Classic bait. But enough lucky moments, because there's still a lot of work to do. I decided to start with leveling up my character, because for this build every skill point is very valuable. At this point Breach and Shrines is one of the best strategies that gives a lot of experience. Besides, I need Breach Stones and some other items that can only be found in Breach. For example these rings. 60 breach rings can be exchanged for armor like this, which can have a very valuable modifier. Like this. Or this one. I managed to get 10 of these items, but unfortunately without the right modifier. Not a big deal, but it was worth a try. I also got a lot of breach stones because I need a lot of these helmets for double corruption. At the same time I was gathering blueprints for heist. And screaming invitations. I used an atlas like this and I think it's pretty good because thanks to it I did several mechanics I needed at the same time and therefore used my time optimally. But it's still a lot of grinding and many people might say I'm insane. And you'd be right. I'm an insane cat. And the game knows it. Three flasks and useful implicit. Not bad at all. This belt will definitely come in handy and speed up the process of gathering the right gear. Alright, let's get started. Let's start with a snack. Breach stones. The main dish. I need to find the melding of the flesh. Wow. As you can see it was very quick and I am now free from this prison. And dessert. Heist. That was a pretty good lunch. And here's some of the loot I found. Let us now visit the temple. Nope. Not bad. But I need plus two to level of socketed aura gems. No way. Another miss. And another helmet gone to a better world. Not exactly what I need. Not this time. Maybe I will have better luck with swords. Nope. I don't like it. It's actually not bad. Onslaught on kill might be useful to me in the future when I change Silver Flask to Ruby Flask. So let's consider it a hit. And more Temple Gamba. Maybe I'll have better luck with this gem. Yep, easy life. Well, after my visit to the temple, I got enlightened level 4 and 1 sword with a good corruption. But unfortunately I need another sword with fortify on hit and a helmet with levels to socketed gems. And that means breach and heist are waiting for me. But for now, I'll stick with what I have and before I continue my endless grind, let's quickly kill Uber Elder and get our last void stone.
No watcher's eye. Sag. Next I have this amulet in mind and that means it's time to go underground. Bad loot. Not bad. Unfortunately, that's not the aura I need. And again. And again without the amulet. I won't lie to you, but delve in getting this amulet is a very miserable experience and all because it takes a huge amount of time and the worst part is that while I'm in delve, I don't do anything else. For example, when I run breach I get experience, breach stones, breach rings, heist blueprint and invitations, and of course lots of gold. And gold is a very important resource in this league. But delve doesn't have all that. You just dig and try to find that stupid boss. There's a divination card like this, but I originally gave up on it because it's so rare. As rare as 7 years bad luck. But then I saw the comments from my viewers and I thought that maybe it's not such a bad idea and maybe I was wrong to give it up right away. So I found this guy and made a scry. Now I will do other mechanics I need and find this card in the meantime. And here's the first card. And to get it I spent a lot of time because in the current patch divination cards farming is a joke. Without quantity on your gear and old divination scarabs it is a very long process. So when I found the first card it went straight to the devil's grindstone. Because getting a full set any other way is not a realistic task. Lucky me. But the amulet was bad. Useless aura. And again. Not a bad start. But this amulet is useless. It happens. Alright, let's take a little break because I want to make some upgrades. I made some gloves for recombinators, but then I decided to try my luck with Harvest Craft. Literally a few tries and I got some pretty good gloves. Blocking mana and lucky exalted slam. Not bad. Benchcraft and my new gloves are ready. Now I have a lot of energy shield and the gameplay will be much more comfortable because it will be easier for me to use grace with divine blessing. Now I need new armor. I made one like this. The first step is recombinators. Quite a long and tedious process that I did not record. You will need a lot of bases and alteration orbs and of course luck. Eventually you will get an armor with three T2 or T1 modifiers and you can consider that the armor is ready. Then prefixes cannot be changed and harvest chaos reforge. The final touch is benchcraft fire resistance for more armor. After I replaced the armor, I changed purity of ice to flesh and stone for more defense. I also added melding of the flesh and ruby flask to the build. This combination increases my max resistances to 90% and it's a huge boost to survivability. Now my character looks like this. Almost 900,000 armor. That's pretty good. Well, let's continue our grind. Back to the underground. Unlucky. No way. Another miss. That's not the boss I want, but let's kill him. Just in case. Nope. He doesn't have my amulet either. Maybe this time we'll get lucky. Now that's something. 
It's not really what I need, because if I take the grace off my boots, I'll lose 150,000 armor and that's not good. But if I can't find the right amulet, I'll have to use this one. Amazing! Amazing bait! Speaking of which, all this time my Atlas runners have been busy looking for this card too. And they were able to find me some cards. Okay, I got it. Time to get back to the surface, because this delve is tiring me out and it's really kind of desperate. Especially since there are a lot of interesting things to find on the maps. Wrong boots, but thanks anyway. Now that's a better one. And T0 unique item. 1 million dust will come in handy for me too. And some scam keys. Nothing interesting. And don't forget about my friend Gravicious. Now we can go fishing, right? Unfortunately, I was never able to get the desired amulet, so I will have to use the amulet with grace. Now I can add an extra aura to my build and it will be haste. I have also accumulated some tattoos, so let's use them. Many of you may wonder why I use tattoos for fire resistance and not for armor. But it's very simple. Thanks to this helmet, I get the armor I need, but in addition, this mastery gives me life regeneration. So tattoos for fire resistance are the best choice for us. And some tattoos to fix my accuracy. Now let's see what I ended up with. Honestly, after I added haste, the build feels a lot better. First of all, this aura increased my damage by almost 1 million and it immediately fell. But on top of that, my movement speed increased significantly. I'm not going to lie to you, but before this build was really slow, but now we are a little faster. In addition, the extra attack speed makes any melee build much better. Also, Leap Slam with the extra attack speed becomes a real movement skill. Long story short, Haste is the best upgrade for this build. After Mage Blood, of course. From the bad points, I would like to mention that I lost about 150,000 armor, and because of that, my survivability became worse. But I hope I will fix it in the future. As for my damage, now it's 5 million DPS, but Smite is not so simple. This skill has two sources of damage. Melee hit and area damage. But unfortunately, each target can only be hit once by this skill. However, this skill has a known bug or interaction where an enemy can be hit by both the melee damage from an additional strike target and the damage of the lightning bolt which is associated with the player's primary strike. For example, if you have gloves like these. Let's move to the dummy and I'll show you in more detail what's what. This is the melee attack. And this is area damage. And if you stand too close, the enemy will only take damage from the melee attack. And if you're too far away, only from area damage. But if you will be approximately at this distance, the enemy will receive damage from both melee attack and area damage. And this is a significant increase our DPS because it is an additional 3 million damage. In order to realize that you are standing at the right range, just watch these lightning bolts. If there are two lightning bolts above the enemy, you are standing correctly. If there is only one, then you are doing something wrong. All right, enough yapping. Let's try something interesting. I've got a lot of Valdo scam boxes here, and of course 99% of them are garbage. But there are a few interesting ones. Let's try this build against the feared for a nice unique item.
The main thing here is to split feared and then the battle will be very easy. No problem. Easy. Now, this is a skill issue. Excuse me. Here's the reward. Very good. And another Valdo's map. Very easy this time. But with a good reward. Overall I am very happy with the current character, even though I spent a lot of time looking for this amulet and in the end never found what I needed. But thanks to the upgrades I made in this video the build feels much stronger and most importantly faster. But it's not over yet, because I need a new good armor with mana reservation efficiency and maybe for that I need fracturing orbs and that means harbinger grind. I also need awakened gems and a good watcher's eye. I have a lot of temples with a locus of corruption and hopefully I can improve my sword and helmet. Not forgetting that stupid amulet with the right aura. I looked into the delirium stash and there was a lot of simulacrum in there. So maybe I'll try to find a good voices. I'm also planning on doing magic find because I need a lot of these boots again for double corruption. Maybe I'll get lucky again and find mage blood with four flasks. In general, there is a lot of interesting stuff ahead, but it will all be in the third part. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Thank you all for watching and commenting. I appreciate it. Also, I will be very grateful for your likes and subscription. Bye everyone and see you in the new video.